for the sake of clarity here, because this will probably potentially get confusing, Sophia is Alumnus, and Frosty is DJ in, in the game lobby here. Both of their, their challenge names do not line up with their in-game switch hands. It can cause a little bit of confusion. Just a little. Early, earlier we had it with Sophia, but I'm like, ah, people figured it out. There's, it's only one person. Now it's both. I'm like, all right, we, we gotta we gotta say something here. But yeah, D. But actually, both players going in with default loadouts right now. Alimux running in with the toaster boomerang, and Frosty going in with the Hydra Coolerang combo. So we've got we've got some fun variety. Go. Well, we've got we don't have variety right here. We have defaults. Yeah, yeah. I mean, these good defaults too. You can you can run these sets. I do run this this Kid Cobra set half the time as a counterpick set. It's good. It's a good one. And that uh, that Springman set is no joke. I still see Springman's run that to this day. Yeah. The Helix loadout may be a little more difficult to utilize, but a lot of that too is just the fact that it's it's really strong, but you have to be a master player to play it well. Otherwise, there's a lot of loadouts that just counter it with lots of loophole and setups that can just take things away. Mm. Rossi is doing some sizable stuff, though. Oh. He's going to lose that rush, which was essential for him to take that point. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sophia takes that first round here in game one just off a of whiff rush interaction. Crazy, crazy big play for her. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now here in round two, we're seeing Sophie. Oh, sorry, not Sophia. Frosty get pushed. I'm already getting confused. Frosty get pushed back to the wall. Oh my god. Oh, she could not carry it all through. Yeah, yeah. That that Tom rush can be a little failing on with, it. with height differences, you know? T Tornado yeah. will get it there to, to the wall, but then if there's such a large gap, it can't combo with itself. The, the other arm really needs to make up for it. Some good trades going in for Frosty here. He's just getting a lot of solid freezes. Couple of follow-up and trades. I don't think we're looking for the rush just yet. He might want to just try to hold things fast, keep things under control, because if he just gets a couple more good trades, he's going to be able to take there the points. Yep, yep, yep. They're swinging. Alamox going to be quickly building up a rush. She's going to start off with the lead as well, getting that first toaster. Both player definitely Frosty really cautious about when he wants to throw out that rush because with the flight and just heavier arms on Alamox's end, it can be really easy for her just to pummel through Frosty's options. But he saw a nice moment. That's it. Now he's got to contend with an aggressive Spring Man who has that rush pressure going in. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. nice movement there. Avoiding the shield break too. Oh my god, this movement is great. Alamux has that weakened shield. She will be safely recovering, though Frosty could not find his way in. Trying to keep up this pressure. He has a kill option. You're, you see he's trying to bait it out, and he will find it. You know... He, that, that, that is his kill way. That is how he kills. He'll dash in, he'll jump in close, he'll charge up for a moment, and then he'll dash a couple ways to the side. And you're usually not anticipating it well enough. He'll just throw out a blind rush. You might be too worried about a grab. He, he plays, just gets... plays Kid Cobra like it's like it's Twintel holding active Sora. He plays Kid Cobra like Kid Cobra is hot, and he takes you down quickly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And they're going to Mausolee, and they're already ready for it. Well, they sounded like they were ready for it. Oh, never mind. Yep, Mausoleum did in fact get banned. Can't take them to Mausoleum. They're redoing stage bans. Now they're going sparring. Now they're ready for it. I could see sparring. I think this is a better pick for her. Mm -hmm. I like sparring against Kid Cobras a lot. I feel like the 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 stage doesn't really give them as much room to breathe as they would like. That said, it depends on the loadout too. I'd say this stage is probably less in Frosty's favor because of his default loadout. But when you've got a Kid Cobra that has like a lot more of the stable 
meta stuff, roasters, clapback, this stage can work really well for him. Like, he can get cornered a little bit more easily, but there's also just the understanding that he can, with his high girth, corner you exceptionally easily. Mm -hmm. Oh, double rang. Yeah, we have three rangs on the field right now. Yeah, Alamux just going in, looking for a loadout to straight up counter those side-to-side -side movements. I mean, she's going to struggle in boxing, but like, I mean, she was struggling to stop the Hydras regardless, and the Boomerang's probably going to fare a little bit better. Yeah. And having two vertical rushes is just going to make that damage a little more consistent and easier to get. We waited a little bit too long, earning extra 20 damage, not too bad though. And yeah, the double curving arm... This is this is a noted uh, uh, really stupid uh, Kid Cobra uh, counter strat, but when it works, it works. That's the that's the best part about extremely stupid strats is that they can and will work if your opponent is not expecting. Oh, big damage! Oh, he will. Kill. She's looking for her own kill. He gets the freeze. Oh, she will be living. You know she's looking for the rush now, and yeah, she's gonna is. get it. He was so scared of a grab. That walk up slow and down smash will connect. <laughs> Low range double tornado boomerang rush. Let's go. Frosty gonna stick to his guns. I could see the Slamamander helping out in the matchup a little bit or just going full double Hydra. But he he likes his cool rain hydra setup, and he you rarely see him swap away, and mm -hmm. this is not going to be one of those cases. It looks like uh, honestly, still doing pretty all right, all things considered. Just a, a few adjustments to be made here. You could probably move back. Mm -hmm. He's got that health lead. He's looking to try to keep this pace going. These trades are still working out pretty well for Alamox, though. It's keeping her close, and with another rush ready. He will get the trade, oh, but... 380! Italian chef hand kiss. Mwah. You love to see it. He needs a trade or to bait out her rush. And he needs to land... He needs more rush because he does not have any. And we're going into the next round. She can get a good point here if he's just not prepared to handle this. Good Hydra will start things off, though. So this is Frosty sitting on match point because she's still... Oh, she loses it! She gets some good damage! She got some good damage, but that was not all of it as Frosty able to just trade her in that rush exchange. And he's just catching her... Catching a lot of fear in her as well. He has yet to throw out, like, any grabs. Mm -hmm. And she's still playing into these ice chains because she is just so worried about a grab oh. happening. Oh. Nice! Double punch, punch punish. Oh my god, they are swinging these at close range. Here comes the enrage. That is perma charge boomerangs. Permanent wind. The rush will potentially be able to kill if she oh. gets a wind confirm into them. She's not gonna go for it yet. She's, playing She's the looking corner. for one more. Oh, this rush catching him in the air. He is getting it juggled, whiffed, but it whiffed. Oh, she does catch it though. Just choosing to shield once more. Frosty desperately punching down. He didn't grab a single time. I don't think he's grabbed a single time this entire match. No, not at all. These these players are are pushing it to the limit. Looking real real tight here in their games. Down to the wire for sure. Indeed. That said, with that stage taken away, I'd, I'll be surprised if Frosty takes us back here. I know he likes this stage, but if he takes us back here, I'll just stay straight up. He's making a bad call. No buster and no scrap. Those are off the table. I think those are... Scrap might actually be a solid stage for Sophia here. Mm -hmm. Scrap I could see working out a little bit better, but I think there's... I think there's a lot of stages on the table that can work really well for Frosty. Mm -hmm. Like, leaving DNA Lab open might be a mistake, especially if he chooses to go back there. I could also see... Yeah, Mausoleum, he doesn't get cornered. 
He kind of does corners, but a lot of his plays are more just scaring you into dropping your guard and then rushing you down. Temple, Temple Grounds is... Temple Grounds is another one. Temple Grounds is I... a stage in the game. You are right. It, it is available mm -hmm. for stage picks in ARMS. It is indeed a stage that we could be going to. I don't think it's the best pick. Out of Maybe all the stages? In his favors. Out of all the stages in the game, this is one. That, this is indeed one. Mm -hmm. I feel like he could have made better choices, but he could also have made much worse choices. So, we'll settle with even. And right off, we're seeing just a slight change. Instead of now double rings, we have we have toaster rings. And Frosty sticking to the default Cobra guns here, which not like it hasn't worked out too poorly, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I think she's just swapped over, recognizing that as this is a longer stage, the double boomerangs wouldn't work nearly as consistently, because mm -hmm. it was the fact that it was so good at smothering out at mid to close range that gave her so much of an advantage with the double boomerang. Oh, 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 nice leap into the arms, though. She does get some damage. Both players very weak on their shields. She's going to start recovering here. Wait, there is a grab. There's mm -hmm. 170 damage. Kid Cobra hits like a truck. She is still holding on to that lead, wants to keep this tempo going. She takes away the last pillar. I feel like those were actually helping her more than anything. That said, I wouldn't be the first to really have the right answer. She, I, I'll trust her judgment on this. As she's got that lead now. Oh. And she's got that points. These these pinpoint, this little the little one-off toasted, uh, a charge toasters, the toasted toasters, they're great. They're doing some hot work for her in this game three. There's Ooh, the freeze. Yeah, jumps back into it by accident. No, no chain or nothing though. No punish. With Frosty just not throwing out grabs ever, like Alamox just has nothing to fear, and especially since she's got that rush ready, there's very little that Frosty would want to do. Uh, oh, he will get this damage. Big damage at the wall. This round is is looking. Pretty bad it's, for Sophie. It's looking really good for him, but it's also looking like the next round will not be looking that good for him because that's a really confident showing, but if all you... Sophia if all starts that peacock, rush. Yeah, if this yeah. peacock is just flaring his feathers, that's about all they are. And that just means that Alamox can just walk up and just knock him down. He's a chance for the rush. She will be able to get 160 damage. And keeps this pressure running. Frosty gonna be the next one ready with a rush. Again, I don't think he's gonna be throwing it out anytime soon. He's looking, he's he's trying to hold it as his win condition. If he can get Alamox weak enough, he can definitely take her out before she even gets the enrage. Mm -hmm. She does get a rush of her own, and you know she is fishing for a chance just to close it out here. She wants to keep climbing this bracket. There's oh, the freeze. Oh, big trade. Try, just keeping steady, keeping calm. Oh, nice punish. catch on Frosty's movement. He tried to bait something out, but he didn't throw out the rush. He didn't have anything going for himself, and at that range, it was an easy catch for her. Alamux will be advancing 2-1 with an impressive comeback. 